Really cool is this glass area of the bathroom here. So take a look at this. So this is the bathroom. This is the bed area. So you know it's pretty decent anyways. Decent sized TV. My coffee and garbage of course. But uh, and then looking out through here. You know it gives you a few things. So that's it. Pretty simple room, but uh, it was cheap enough and it served the purpose. Incheon Airport. Uh, it was about an hour and 20 minutes uh, from downtown Seoul basically uh, to Terminal 1 and we're just gonna go check in. Alright so we are at uh, Incheon Airport and they have this um, tax refund thing. If you spend over, um, you know, 30,000 won, 3,000 yen, 30 bucks, you can actually get the tax back. So I'm getting like 2,000 won, about, you know, two bucks or so. But I basically gave them my receipt uh, and my passport. And you go to this machine here, the guy beeps your passport, beeps the receipt, um, and then uh, sets everything up. And basically, once you go past immigration and security, you go to this certain gate to this desk, and they give you a cash refund for all the taxes that you've paid. So, very easy. When you come to Seoul, if you are massively shopping, uh, I'm getting two bucks back, but hey, um, you can get all that tax back, which is like at nine or ten percent. So, just a little tip for you if you come to Seoul. And when you come here, the smoking area is between exits six and seven. Okay, so passing through security, what a breeze. Immigration, beep, looks at me, see ya. easy so they basically ask you if you for your cash refund you want it uh, in American dollars Korean won um, I think Chinese and uh, Philippine money so yeah you have four chase four choices walking around for about 20 minutes and uh, this place is huge uh, each gate is like really really uh, far apart um, where we're getting our train our, our train <laughs> our uh, flights so basically you can see like gate 11 here and then gate 10 way down there nine so on and so forth we're on gate like 14 so um, down another corridor of this main here is like gates 12 to 25 so if you don't plan on walking much yeah go to your gate and relax an airplane so I this is the first time I've ever experienced this like they have repacking areas I uh, a lot of Chinese shoppers I don't know but check this out they're all like repacking and 
doing all kinds of weird stuff, throwing out boxes for the shoes, all kinds of weird, just, just, it's just weird. I've never seen like this before. That really is crazy, repacking everything. And then they have all these bags here too. That's just nuts. I don't know, I, I don't get the, the cultural aspect behind it, but <coughs> um, not to be rude, but I'd probably say 99.9% .9 of the uh, people doing that were Chinese. So obviously they're coming over to do a lot of shopping and stuff, and I guess, you know, get rid of the unnecessary packaging and stuff, but um, I've never seen it. It's the first time in my life of traveling that I've ever actually seen that. So, just something interesting. So, we got into the uh, lounge here. It's the Sky Hub Lounge. Uh, you can see out there is the uh, departure area where you check in and stuff, which is pretty cool. Um, just like at Narita, we went to the, the Korean Airlines Lounge and just snacks. Check out this lounge. Well, I'm not going to show you this. I'm going to show you the food. Seriously, it's a freaking buffet. So, yeah, I gotta dig in. All right, so we're sitting in these funky chairs here. This is what I got. Uh, massive bulgogi, some penne, a bit of chicken here, and some sort of a meatball. I'm not that hungry because I just ate breakfast at the hotel at like 8, 8.30 this morning. It's now um, about 1.20, so it is lunchtime, but... And then, of course, we're gonna get you know a little bit of snack on the plane, but can't pass up this. this Frickin' bulgogi. So I'm just about to board the plane, going for a smoke. I'm, I gotta say, this is the, uh, this is a world class, first class airport. Wow! I'm uh, in another wing right now, and it is just freaking amazing. The shopping, the the layout of the whole airport. It, it just amazes me. Even the smoking lounge, which I'm going into right now, way better than Narita. It's boarding time. Well, I got flagged for having a uh, little mobile charger in my checked-in luggage. From Japan to Korea, it's okay, but um, I guess uh, from leaving Korea, you can't have it in there. Um, I have my other one in my carry-on, which is okay. The first one through immigration is so easy when you're a permanent resident of Japan. Um, he just basically took my um, embarkment, dis disembarkment card, um, stamped my passport, did my fingerprints, picture, done. I even beat Hiromi through immigration. So it's, it's a good feeling to just be fast. Now we're sitting here waiting for 
the luggage.